just the perfect thing. It's uh, okay. It's come on, come it's on. Just cool. Very cool. Very come nice. On. Yeah. Down here, blue shirt. Thank you. For the economic summit meetings in Southeast Asia and in Japan, we in Guam and throughout Micronesia see this the free association with the United States. This process should stand as a proud accomplishment of your administration. On a parallel, that of a commonwealth of the United States, Mr. President and greater self-sufficient. And now we have completed the draft of the Guam Commonwealth. The House Security Committee had planned to hold a vitally important hearing for those congressmen who will participate in this process. Regrettably, however, the Grand Rutland Deficit Act and I respectfully request the use of an Air Force aircraft the transport the congressmen want to conduct their field hearings. In this region, like you, we believe that a strong Pacific America will make for an even stronger America. As a leading, although your mission may be construed as ideological adversaries, as you of the diamond the people of Guam, I offer a most appreciative to those Mahasi for my success in this mission to enhance the peace and prosperity of all of America, including those of us in the Pacific America. Thank you very much. message of freedom. The foreign ministers that I will meet with in Indonesia represent nations that have each in large part embraced human liberty, free trade, and we'll reassert our belief that in liberty we can work together to bring still greater prosperity to the Pacific. Prosperity in the 12th annual summit meeting of leaders from the industrialized democracies of Asia connection between freedom and economic growth and we'll lay plans to expand world trade still further. This part of the world, to this beautiful island of Guam and your many island neighbors, soon for three others, the Republic of Marshall Islands, the Federated States of Micronesia, and the Republic of that the necessary implementing measures will be promptly approved. I don't very often say that about the Congress. <laughs> Those of you laboring here on Guam to keep our nation free and at peace. <laughs> to respond to this challenge with two words to say it all. Can do. <laughs> the good commander in chief, I have stated and extending you men and women in uniform the thanks of a graceful, grateful nation. I have to tell you that <laughs> that has been wonderful to have I said I'll give it my best. And all the people of Guam, top of that. country 
that it is possible for me, one of the many, many Romanians who was liberated, to be in the aircraft, what America stands for, Defense Exhibit A for the United States stands right here. Mr. President, you frequently mention in a very poetic and a compelling way that America is a land of destiny and the people of America are the people of destiny. Sir, you're looking at part of the land of destiny and part of the people of destiny. And it is now my pleasure to give you a little memento